Well, did the winds keep you up last night? We've been bl they've been blowing all night long around a whole bunch of communities, and there's a concern about fire danger. Absolutely, NBC4 is checking out the conditions in the San Fernando Valley this morning. We're we're bracing for strong gusts. Let's check in with Gene. How's it looking out there, Gene? Hey, good morning, McCall and Michelle. Well, we can say that it's been breezy this morning. Uh, it hasn't been a, a huge problem, though, but that could all change when we're talking about gusty winds all through today. Now, that's because of some possible fire dangers. Take a look at this video. Uh, overnight, we've been monitoring the situation uh, here in the San Fernando Valley, as well as the different areas. There's a huge warning from the National Weather Service. They expanded their red flag warnings through 10 o'clock tonight. That's quite a bit of time. L.A. and Ventura counties, plus San Fernando and Santa Clarita Valleys also impacted. They're worried if new fires ignite today, winds could spread fire rapidly, cause those extreme conditions. This morning, CHP also issued a wind advisory. That's along the 405 and the 118 in Granada Hills. New overnight video shows you other areas uh, over at Sepulveda Boulevard between Devonshire Street and San Fernando Mission Boulevard. Rinaldi Street by Aliso Canyon Park in Granada Hills, also a concern with winds whipping through. Santa Clarita near the Old Road and Pico Canyon Road, also a concern. Now, firefighters have been monitoring those hot spots in the Saddle Ridge fire, uh, where of those low humidities and the warmer weather today. Back out here live here in Mission Hills, uh, just winds are starting to pick up this morning, but that is the very latest. Back to you in the studio.